So what questions should you ask to build an acquisition strategy? Stick around and on tonight's episode, I'm gonna give you three questions that every business advisor should be asking in order to build the right strategy. Good evening, Agile Acquisition Enthusiasts, and welcome back to the Underground Digital Teacher Bar. It's Friday night, and that means it's time for another episode of Agile Acquisitions and Alcohol. So cheers. Okay, so as I've said before, if you're a contracting officer or a contracting specialist, what you really are is a business advisor. And in order to be a business advisor, you have to have a really efficient way to get to the point of what your customer needs to build them the right strategy. So I've actually done this thousands of times and you know people think it's some sort of like magic box that I, that I put their information in and pull it out. It really isn't, it's really simple. To me, it boils down to three questions and I'm gonna give those to you right now. The first one is, what do you need? You know, obviously you can't build an acquisition strategy if you don't know what it is they're trying to buy. You need to understand it technically and you need to understand it from its perspective of how they're going to use it. The second one, when do you need it? When do you need something really drives the type of acquisition approach you're gonna need use? If you're gonna maximize for time, then you need to look for strategies that allow for direct awards, sole source, or limited competitions. If you have a long lead time and you have the ability, you can flush out more opportunities, more market research, and assess to try and find, cast the biggest net to hopefully find solutions you might not have even thought of. And the third, how much are you going to spend? You need to understand the investment amount. When you're building an acquisition strategy, you want to know what they're willing to put into this in the near term, at least in the immediate effort, because knowing that will set thresholds. That'll help you develop an acquisition strategy based on what certain criteria are associated with different acquisitions, whether it's the simplified acquisition threshold or commercial, set, uh, commercial simplified acquisitions, and so on and so forth. So understanding what it is they're trying to buy, how soon they need it, and what they're willing to spend is critically important. And what I like to do is, is basically do a trade-off or prioritization. You know, what are you maximizing for? Are you maximizing for getting something in the door as soon as possible? Are you maximizing for having the most opportunity for selection amongst the different possible vendors? Or are you maximizing for cost savings? And so all of these things, they're critically important. You put them together and then you can map out what acquisition approach is going to work best for your customer. So there you have it. Quick and easy, three simple questions that you can ask to be a better business advisor. Until next week, cheers.